folks, this is how we're starting this evening, Easter Monday, and we say Happy Easter to everyone. And tonight's program is just about that, celebrating gospel. They say that music is good for the soul. If that's true, then gospel music must be very good for the soul. Now to continue with this whole gospel mode, let us hear Pastor Benjamin Dubé's choir singing, I Need Your Touch. The witnesses, please. Yeah. 
to that. Fabulous. And I can really say amen and I agree with every word he's saying. Oh. I want to be talking later on to Benjamin. How do you get into gospel? How did you, because I know you used to sing with my <laughs> sister, so we need to find out a little bit more about it. Anyone wants to talk? You, wait, you're the old gospel singer. <laughs> Tell us about it. I'm going to call you old today. <laughs> today. Let's talk. I mean, you were in gospel years back. Right. But I'm not old, I'm just matured, that's all. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> You like me, you kind of stuck at 29, huh? Yeah. I think that's very inspiring, most outstanding. I'm touched. I think the word gospel talks about inspiration more than anything yeah. else. Where does it come from? It Where comes from a Greek word, evangelion, which means good news. Mm -hmm. So right. gospel is simply good news, and all that's right. what it's all about. So we're talking during the break and you're talking about what gospel really does to the soul and we had what uh, Frankie mentioned and you saying? Yes, um, Pastor Frankie Weber, his words were that the gospel is the good news. Yeah. And what I basically want to say is that is the good news that was transferred from God into the soul of a human being. Now, you must know gospel music is soul music. Mm. So it touches the soul. I mean, you know. And when it, and when it touches the soul, you see, now, now, Pastor Benjamin was moving there, mm. and I was saying that we as a crowd, we were sitting here and we were behaving ourselves. Yeah. But if you had to let us go, we would have been yeah. all on our feet. Yeah. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? There's one thing I've also done today. I've, done, I've violated the rules. The fact that the studio is packed to capacity, even sitting on my stairs, where I cannot even run up and down, tells you that I'm also moved by this whole thing, allowing this. But also what I noticed about gospel, it also manages to touch. The message is so broad. As we're about to hear the real sisters here, and I said, why are you call the real sisters? It says, one father, one mother. <laughs> the real sisters that sing about the strength of a woman, in essence. Let's hear that song. Love's manifestation A woman of choice Has peace in her voice The strength in her touch Is a power of love Ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. See how she's standing In all of her glory The way she what a beautiful story, the image of grace, a pillar of faith, but the greatest of all is a heart filled with love, a woman of love, she's a gift from above, but strength to this nation, love's manifestation, a woman of choice, there's peace in Strength in her touch is a power of love. Ooh, 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 ooh,
to this nation. Let the love prevail in every woman's heart. Let the love prevail. Let the love prevail. A woman of love, she's a gift from above. Oh. A strength to this nation, love's manifestation. A woman of choice, there's peace in her voice. Oh. The strength in her touch is a power of She's a gift from above, a strength to this nation, a to this nation. loves manifestation, a woman of choice, there's peace in her voice, the strength in her touch is a power of the love. strength in her touch, the strength in her touch is a power of love, the strength in her touch is a power of said a woman is like a tea bag you put her in hot water she gets stronger <laughs> and then Malcolm X said if you educate a man you educate an individual if you educate a woman you educate a nation yeah. after the break we'll talk gospel music is the only music in the world that is not tied to one single style. Yes. As long as it exalts Jesus as the way of salvation. Yes. Are you a pregnant teenager? Are you a teenage mother? We want to find out how you're coping. Call us. Joining us on the panel this evening, we have ministers and gospel singers who are concerned about the advancement and recognition of gospel music in South Africa. Trevor Sampson. Trevor, you started off in pop and transcended to gospel. Reason? Well, I heard the message loud and clear. The message was you turn away from your wicked ways and humble yourself unto the Lord Almighty God and follow the plan that he's got for your life. The perception, Trevor, you're giving now is that pop is wicked ways. Yep. Is that how you feel? According to me. Oh, according to you. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, I mean, those years, the 80s, late 70s, you, Neville Nash, Lionel Peterson, I mean, when you talked about... Yeah, I was around with many people. You're talking Tully Peterson, those Zane Adams, Poison, the group Poison, the, uh, the Golden City Dixies, you name it. I was involved with all of those kind of, kind of guys. And yes, great, wonderful opportunities, but it was all pie in the sky. You know, today there's something, tomorrow there's nothing. And when I got to know Jesus Christ, it is uh, basically a whole life change, not only a mind change, but a total a change of my direction. My music is a very important instrument or vehicle to communicate this message that Jesus Christ has got for me and for others hmm. to get to know him. Hmm. Yeah. 
In fact, you're even in the process of forming the South African Gospel Music Alliance. And it looks like many other groups are being formed. If I may ask you up there, Andre, you sent me a letter, obviously concerned about gospel too. That's correct, uh, Felicia. Um, we've been um, active in advancing the course of gospel music since uh, 88. Uh, the, the idea was at that time to, to mobilize and to also to, to bring about a greater awareness of the wealth of gospel music talent and gifting in the life of our people. Um, hence, we started uh, a gospel music initiative uh, called Hope South Africa to advance our young people through what we call the gospel music arts, something that they can be proud of, mm -hmm. that they don't have to look and pop in the secular world. So yes, the cause of gospel music needs to be pursued and uh, we are very grateful for this opportunity here this afternoon mm -hmm. that we can also voice uh, our opinion, our concerns and how we view the road ahead mm. through music. Mm. Amen. Amen. Pastor Esther Hazen, you were criticized 30 years ago for bringing in worldly music into the church and today it looks like it's becoming the norm. That's right. Mm -hmm. We uh, pioneered almost 32 years ago bringing drums, PA systems, guitars, keyboards, and what you see here happening today into the church. At that time, I was labeled as a rebel, and uh, thank God we pursued it, stayed with it, and today the church is moving with music yes, that's, because that's we believe it. music belongs to God, yeah. not to the devil. mentioned to the lady here that I'm Anglican and one reason that really discouraged me from going to church I found it dull and we were still singing quietly with a hymn book and there was no soul you know mm. to the soul and I got out of there I was I'd recited so many psalms and I did not quite know what was I did not get the message from it but I've just been convinced that it sounds like it's I've been it's been a long time since I last went to church but <laughs> <laughs> get ready. But, but I tell you what, after I heard Pastor Benjamin, I am going back. I, if False Rose was yes. not far, I was coming to your church. Yes. 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 But Pastor Benjamin, how did you move from, I mean, as I said earlier, you sang with my sisters, you guys were Chico, were singing, in a sense, pop music. And now I tell you, uh, Sissy and Bibi better move out of sight <laughs> with you. Well, Felicia, um, I think at that time when I was already singing with Chico and them, I was already a child of God. And uh, I knew the truth because I was raised up in a Christian family. And Mama Grace didn't want you singing that stuff. <laughs> she didn't want to. <laughs> but I can tell you God's ways are higher than man's ways. Yes. Because... My being involved in that group actually brought up the light of God in that place. I became a role model for most of them. What I notice is that there has been the American influence in gospel. I mean, we go back to the Mahalia Jacksons. Gospel music was born from Negro spirituals, as they would say, the blues, the tabernacle songs in the early 1900s in America. When did gospel start in South Africa? I think that's what I'm trying to find out. When did it ultimately start? Can yeah, I think uh, it, the, we were talking with Bernadette before the program. Uh, the history of gospel music in this country hasn't even been written. Yeah. Yeah. It still exists in oral tradition. I'm sure that as long as there have been Christians in this country, yes. there's been gospel music. And gospel music is the only music sure. in the world Brilliant that is not tied to one single style. Yes. As long as it exalts Jesus as the way of salvation, we can have rap gospel, we can have heavy metal gospel, we can have all styles of music can communicate the message of yes, Jesus. Yes, because in fact, when I was says I listened to this rap group rapping about Jesus. Amen. And I was like, I did not know you can rap about Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Gospel also transcends our languages. We're going to be hearing Rebecca Mulope also singing in Zulu, 
But now let's hear one of the most popular Afrikaans gospel singers, Sonia Harold, who not only sang gospel, but was involved in mainstream music. Sonia, please. Good job, honey. Thank you. Good, uh, did a good job. Thanks a million. <laughs> After the break, we will be hearing from Trevor Sampson and Felicia Marion and Rebecca Malope and the Zoe Gospel Singers. Yeah. So stay tuned. Are you an elderly person who's been touched by the cruel hand of crime? Or are you a pensioner who's being abused by your family? Come and tell us your story. As we say, the studio is packed with gospel lovers tonight. The studio is packed with the spirit of gospel. But I want to find out really when and how do you convert? When does that message call you and say it's time for gospel? And obviously gospel has had, its, um, has had Christianity, in fact, has had its influence in gospel. Gospel has had influence in Christianity, one of the two. It's the same thing, it's the same thing huh? Or let's hear it. Can I get some argument from up there? Yeah, the, the point I would like to make is this, is that um, gospel music is far more than just uh, a religious expression. It is a way of life, it is an experience uh, that cannot be manufactured Exa by Example? Men. Pardon? Example, you say it's an experience. Once you've received the Lord Jesus Christ in your life, Amen. you have accepted him as being part of you, and he regenerates that man that has died 
which God has breathed into you at birth uh, comes to life and you experience what they call a new birth. I love God too. She is great. I beg your pardon? God is in whatever way you perceive God. No, you can't. That's blasphemy. I think that is blasphemy. Is that blasphemy? It yes. is. It is. God. Are you serious? Jesus said in his own words, you shall pray in this way, our Father who art in heaven, Amen. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And if you, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm you not You want to put your foot into it, you'll get it. <laughs> I, I know, but I, I was p p saying that God is seen in the way you perceive God. But in, with that, really, without any blasphemy here, I'm also saying hallelujah. Can we have the song? <laughs> South Africa when I was still living overseas, you were singing with joy. Yeah. And I said when I went back to the States, 
The Supremes could not even touch these three ladies. <laughs> That's how good you were and are better. I mean, you're like red wine, you're getting better and better. How did you convert? Well, it was not anything I'd planned, Felicia. Someone just ministered to me and shared Jesus with me. And for so long, for about 10 years, I'd never set foot in a church. And I knew there was God, but I was just not interested in religion. Mm. And she invited me to church with her one day, and that was the day he had this appointment with me. Hallelujah. And when he came in, everything changed. <laughs> was there a life that was rough? I mean, Trevor talked up earlier about um, before, obviously, I lived... What was the words used? When I so, so, talked wicked. about pop music. I used to live a wicked, wicked life. life. Was the wickedness yes. in that lifestyle at Very all? much so, Felicia. I know because I was right in the depths. I went where Trevor didn't even go. I was on drugs. Mm. I was on alcohol. Mm. And I was having promiscuous relations. Mm. And I was deep down in hell. And my life had meant nothing to me. Got to the point and he came right in time and lifted me up. At this point, I'd like to invite another group now that would come and give us another song, also really from mainstream and has converted to gospel, the Zoe Gospel Singers. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thanks, Kim. Okay. As I said, you know, I kind of like a little bit of controversy, but I'm not here to insult anybody. I want... Honestly and truly, forget your feelings about Christianity, but should we leave that argument in or should we let it go? I think we should, because there are people who say that. But I don't want to bring you in here to f make you feel like I've, I was insulting you. I was not. Because, I, I mean, you, you go to the States, you hear them talk about she. And that's why I brought it up. And you do have some feminists out there. Will you? Okay, fine. With your permission. Okay. Are you a pregnant teenager? Are you a teenage mother? We want to find out how you're coping. Call us. During the break, we continued with this argument of he, she. And Pastor, you were saying? One of the great problems, uh, Felicia, is that people and religion and theologians are really trying to undermine the deity and the authority of Jesus Christ as God. And we need to understand the disciples said, Show us the Father that we may believe. Jesus said, you have had me all this time, and yet you do not believe. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. And the Bible is quite clear, and also the history books is quite clear that Jesus was a man. And one of the great dangers is when we mess with the deity of Jesus, and we mess with the kingdom of God, we're going to get ourselves into serious trouble and blaspheme. And the Bible says we must be careful not to blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Okay. But you know what? I've not heard from you, but I think I hear that you have a beautiful voice. Just one little stanza. <laughs> Just one stanza of a song. Sing. Yeah. Um, They'll join you, don't worry. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Let's take us back to the Zoe singers when they say, let's get back to modern gospel. Let's hear it.
the Zionist influence because I remember when we were growing up, there was a Zionist church and how we back here, was there something, the influence there? Yes. There's the influence. There's an African way of doing things. There's an African way of doing things. Oh, yes. yes. Forget America. Yes. Before you leave, before you leave, you know, there's latent talent here. Uh, Gloria, just hit me one little, one verse. Just show, show them that voice, honey. Just any song you want to sing. Any song. Blessed are Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. I'm an heir of salvation, purchase of God. I'm born of his spirit. I am washed in his blood. I say thanks to Sipo Mabuse for making me discover her. And we've not heard the last from her. We will be hearing more. Thanks again, the Zoe. We continue to celebrate gospel tonight. As you can see again, a packed studio. Never allowed it to be this packed, but I felt if I chase some folks away, I'm gonna be in trouble with the Lord. Yeah. So that's why I had to not do that. But what, where are we going with gospel? What's the future of gospel? Uh, gospel music here, it should actually highlight hope in a hopeless world. We're living in a country the, uh, of people who feel like they've been excluded. You know, it feels like there's an exclusive club that is not, not addressing what is going on. So gospel music is there to address many things, like uh, even the political scene, how to encourage people, how to bring the self-esteem, how to fight against crime, how to talk against crime and things yeah. like that. So it's not just a thing that just only goes with glory, hallelujah, but it's a, it's a message of hope mm -hmm. to the country to actually say that we are here not to stay. We are going to be also, part, we are in the world. So to actually be a part of what is going on and be the ones who bring the light to people who need to hear about it. You're saying yes? I've been uh, greatly challenged by, by this, this program because of a, a, a message I heard from a dean of a college of communication some time ago, the whole area of, of nation building. And she challenged people to look at art as, uh, and find its role within rebuilding a nation. That was in Europe, and I came back. I've been involved with gospel music in this country for a long time. But I really felt that it's the time for us as gospel artists uh, and gospel musicians to be about changing this nation yes. through, the, through the arts because of the message inherent in the gospel. Absolutely. It's not, it's not, it's not an emotion. The gospel offers, offers truth, yes. justice, Amen. mercy, grace. And I believe as we convey that message, we're going to influence this nation. Amen. Amen. Sounds like we're going to have to have another go program on gospel. Yeah. I mean, we've just scratched the surface here. We heard Gloria Bossman. There's a little boy I heard recently sing. We heard some of your singers. We've heard you sing, and we've not heard you up there. We have to hear more. We've, we have to hear, hear the pioneers of gospel up yes. there. Yes. But with this, let me say, let's hear the queen of gospel, Rebecca Malope. I'm not afraid. 
I'd like to say good night and Rebecca can you please close out for us aus violes sie scheinen es geht der song let's all dance to the song hallelujah
Are you a pregnant teenager? Are you a teenage mother? We want to find out how you're coping. Call us. Are you an elderly person who's been touched by the cruel hand of crime? Or are you a pensioner who's being abused by your family? Come and tell us your story. To contact The Felicia Show, call us on 011-880-1900 or 11 2338 or write to us at FMS Productions, P.O. Box 29896, Melville 2109.